Now that we are power back, welcome back to some more spin tires. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am finally back in some more spin tires. Today it has been, you know, a little while since I've been into the game. I mean, the last time I uploaded it, I, I can't even remember. It's probably been at least a year since I've made a video. I'll probably dig through the old ones, but the last time I touched the game is probably a couple months ago. Spin tires and Mud Runner, its predecessor or the next game in the line of the games here but the really cool thing i'm here today to play on some spin tires is their brand new dlc their chernobyl update and if you can't hear the geiger counter behind me yeah we're gonna be running into a little bit of radiation here i mean there are a couple other things i do want to talk about real quick they have added in three new russian vehicles for us Two of them are six-wheel drive vehicles. One of them is a four-wheel drive vehicle that we start out in. There's a brand new map as well around the reactor that did explode that has huge pockets of radiation that can damage your vehicle there. Um, other than that, there's not very many really big things that they added in with this, but I'm going to start a brand new game here. And if you can hear it, here I'll be quiet for a second. Just listen to the um the sound on the menu when I move around. Or at least the Geiger counter behind me. It almost sounded like the menu I was going through, but you know it would really help to go into the Chernobyl map if we actually um clicked the Chernobyl game there. That would definitely help. So I'm really gonna do I want to grab the garage points here real quick because we do have a secondary garage. And if you guys are wondering why I know probably most if not everything about this map, I have already explored it a bit. Um, I did a Twitch stream on it the other day just figuring out what's going on in the map and the brand new mechanic to it as well to try to avoid it as much as I possibly can. But we're probably going to run into it at least a little bit getting over to that garage over there. Because like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I said it or not, but the first mission I want to do on this brand new map is unlocking that new garage. Because we do have a secondary point. We aren't on hardcore mode. And as much as I remember, I think not being on hardcore mode means that you can respawn your vehicle. So when we unlock that garage, it'll make it a lot easier to respawn here. We're already having a little bit of problem with some mud here. I guess that's the name of the game, though. Well, Mud Runner's the other game. We're spinning our tires, though, pretty well. This is one of the new vehicles we do have today, though. It's the uh, four-wheel drive vehicle I was talking about. It's a pretty nimble, pretty good vehicle that we've got that um, is actually pretty tough. Uh, it might not look like it, but it's got a V8 in it. Plenty of power, as I've seen. It's got me out of some hairy situations from time to time on the brand new map here. Although, I think spin tires, if I remember correctly, we don't have that in-cab view for us. So it does make it a little bit harder driving in this third-person type of view here. Oh, and there goes the Geiger counter already. And we're taking a lot of damage. Jeez. Okay, we're out of it. It's more... It seems to be more like uh, rolling clouds from time to time that we run into here with the or pockets of radiation that we run into so it's definitely a good idea to at least bring some type of um repairs with you i mean generic debris is another big problem on this map because it is a um more than run down it's just deserted town here by this point i'm assuming they've made this so much after the reactors did explode or excuse me I'm 99% sure it was only one reactor, but uh, I'll save the history lessons for later. We do have a little bit more mud in front of us, but we seem to be handling it decently well, keeping some speed with the truck here. Camera's getting a little bit wonky, but all in all, it's trucking pretty well through here. We're getting to our first garage, or I guess only other garage on the map right now. It's only taking us, what? Two minutes to get over here, maybe? If that. A uh, little bit. That's a good tilt right there. And I don't know if I want to do a logging run on this map or not. Maybe I'll do a little bit of exploring, find the new vehicles, and then we'll go from there. If you guys do want to see me beat the map with a logging run, I can do that in the future. But 
I'm really interested to see what you guys think about me back in some more spin tires today. So, enough of me blabbing on the road, at least for now. We have our garage now, so our new base of operations is underway here. Alright, back on the road again. Let's take that off. If I remember correctly, there was a truck down here somewhere in one other spot. I'm going to go look real quick. So after a little bit of research on the map, I found out kind of where we want to go for our other vehicles here. Just about this way. There's two on the bottom southeast southwest corners of the map. And just a little bit more radiation damage. I don't want to take any more damage from running over debris. <laughs> a very quick turn there, but... Looks like we have to haul our way down. We're going to be starting with that northeastern vehicle. And once we do have a uh, six-wheel drive vehicle here, it should help us out pretty well getting around just in general. That was a bad set of uh, radiation right there. It looks like we're having a few problems just getting around in general. I'm, I'm remembering more and more of it now. There are a lot of debris points and walls and stuff you have to get around. I mean, they have left open little spots, but it is definitely an exploration and a challenge to get around this map, especially with that radiation damaging your truck. So you have to be ever so careful with running that. Running that. And I forgot to look basically right in front of me. I was looking to get this cloak down as well if I'm driving right through here. Get that guy removed. And I think I see that new truck right over there. If that is the truck I've been thinking about. So this guy, usually when we do find them out in the wild, they seem to have a bit of damage on them. And maybe low on fuel. Let's see if I can get... Oh, he's fully repaired. Okay, so let's jump over to this guy. I don't think I've driven this one yet. I, yeah, it is a six-wheel drive vehicle. She's struggling to get his rear end out of the mud, though. Maybe I should have turned off the other truck. Yeah, we're only on 47 liters of 150. I don't know if we can even cross the map, because we need to go about 700 meters that way. To get our next truck. Do we have a fuel stop in between? There is a fuel stop. Yes, indeed. So we're going to hit the fuel stop and then go that way. We have made it over to our fuel station pretty quickly, pretty efficiently. Oh, and there goes the camera. I was hoping not to have any camera problems, but all right. Just a little bit of a jumpy and jittery camera. All right, back on the road again. We've got a couple hundred uh, meters to go before we get over there. So this radiation, I'm interested to see. So another mechanic, I don't know if I've showed it off enough. You might have seen it as I jumped in and out of the map. But, excuse me. The um, radiation fields that you do drive through are marked on your map pretty well by the um, radiation signs and this, I guess, yellowest texture with the red around it so if you did want to find every single last drop of radiation on the map you could do that it might take a little while repairing the truck again and again to do that but i found out as well like we seem to drive maybe it was just the edge of this field it seemed like but we just drove through all that and didn't get a lick of damage there which is interesting to say the least but I'm not sure why we've gone neon green for some reason. This is not looking good. Okay, we're getting out of it. That was weird. For a second I thought like the graphics or something broke on the game. But I mean, I'm kind of trailing my own path. I'm going to get up to at least out of radiation here for a second or two. Um, and explain what happened to me. All right, we seem to be okay. Yeah, that was all radiation right there. So what happened to me over here, um, I was hauling through some radiation there. And then me and the truck had a little bit of a disagreement. I said, hey, you can go through this puddle. It'll be perfectly fine. The truck said, no, that's not going to happen today. I need air to work. And I said, well, you've got plenty of air. 
And the truck said no, and it died on me, so... I rescued it to this garage and took the, um, the path of least resistance over to that new and the other truck. It seems like it isn't exactly the path of least resistance, though. So, we're having a few problems getting through here, but... With some, um, ingenious driving by yours truly, we'll make it through here pretty quickly and well, I'm hoping. Now oh, we have a downed tree. My two arch enemies and spin tires. First of them were the Pebbles. Me and Pebbles never had a good re relationship in spin tires. The second one is the downed trees. Whenever I would take on those downed trees, I would always lose. At least I never claimed to be the best driver around. As me being the best driver around, I can get us through the mud here very quickly. Little to no radiation damage. Don't don't worry about the neon green or anything to tilt. That is nothing to worry about here. Good ladies and gentlemen out there. We will be perfectly fine. Um, you've got an extra eyeball? That's not correct, but that can be fixed. Yes. Um, do you have an extra arm? Um... Good on you, an extra arm, yes. Um, that totally wasn't because I drove through the radiation a couple times. We're going through more radiation now? Well, at least I found some sort of a paved road down here. I guess there are advantages and disadvantages to taking the paved road around Chernobyl here. The disadvantages is, of course, the path of least resistance seems to have the most radiation on it. And in the highest quantities, and, um... Alright, who was paid to build this road? There's just a tree in the middle of the road. I'm I'm an idiot. That's the edge of the map as I'm killing my truck. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Scratch that from the record. We're fine. Is that my new car? No, that's a little like Jeep type of thing. It almost looks like a van. It might be beneficial to me to grab this, um, this cloaking up here. Actually, I think this is where the... Yeah, there it is. Um, it may not have wheels just yet, but they, they're they being imported from China. The cheaper off-roading wheels, yep. So there is our third and final new truck. Those are all the new trucks for the map, and, um... As we sink into the sinkhole to get that cloaking... I think that is where I'm going to leave the Chernobyl map. There's been a few blunders. Let's just forget about them. They never happened. These are not the trucks you were looking for. No, not at all. Yes, I, I never crashed into multiple puddles, flipped my truck, or drowned it. That, that never happened. Uh, nobody was saying that that happened. But anyways, yeah, that is where I am going to be ending this video today. I would like to send a quick thank you over to the developers for sending me a key to the DLC to the game here to play today. It's been pretty fun. So if you guys do have spin tires, you can grab the Chernobyl DLC. It is out now with some pretty cool new things. There's a lot more. It took me probably three hours just to get the map done, the cloakings in general, because a lot of the exploration on the map and everything is just you really just need to get around all of the um, the radiation fields and whatnot. And that is a big challenge. But yeah, that is where I'm going to be ending it. So of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with spin tires and more of my content. But I've never been great at goodbyes, but people need me and I need to go.